Here's why you should stop using the self-clean cycle on your oven, as told by an appliance specialist and former appliance repair tech. Ray Bradbury taught us all that the temperature at which paper burns is 451 degrees Fahrenheit, among other important lessons. Wood placed in an oven at 700 degrees Fahrenheit ignites almost immediately, according to fireengineering.com. In most models of electric ranges, the traditional high heat self-clean cycle will operate between 800 and 900 degrees Fahrenheit, and some as high as 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, in order to burn off any food debris. But temperatures that high don't only burn off food debris, they can also do some major damage. The UL standard for household electric ranges states that during normal operation, the surfaces of household electric ranges may not exceed 59 degrees Celsius or 106 degrees Fahrenheit on bare or painted metal or 75 degrees Celsius, 135 degrees Fahrenheit on plastic. The problem with that is self-clean is not considered normal operation. So during a self-clean cycle, the outside of the range can get much hotter than the UL standard, hot enough to cause burns, create fumes that can be harmful or fatal to small birds or animals, and potentially damage parts of the oven that require a visit from an appliance repair tech, even when used correctly. One of the most common oven parts to fail during a self-clean cycle is the thermal cutoff, or TCO. Although technically it's not failing, it's doing exactly what it was designed to do. As implied by the name, the thermal cutoff is a safety device on the oven that will cut off power to the oven if it detects the temperature has gone past a predetermined limit. Many TCOs are also commonly referred to as thermal fuses, because much like a fuse, many of them burn out and cannot be reset. This means that once the TCO is trimmed, the only way to restore power to your oven is by replacing the TCO, which should only be done by a qualified appliance repair technician since it is a safety device. But for many oven thermal cutoffs, that temperature limit isn't as high as you'd think. I asked my friend Dave, who's an appliance repair tech working in the field, if he could look up the TCO cutoff temperatures for different brands for me. Thanks, Dave. Of the brands he checked, the TCO cutoff temperatures range from 105 degrees Celsius to 184 degrees Celsius, or about 221 degrees Fahrenheit to 363 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes perfect sense during normal operation because the TCO is usually located outside of the oven's thermal insulation, which is one of the things that keeps the heat inside your oven. The idea being that if the TCO trips at a temperature lower than what can cause a fire, it can prevent a fire from ever happening by turning off the heat source and keeping the oven locked shut. It also means that the parts of your oven outside of the thermal insulation, i.e. the external metal parts that you can actually touch, can potentially reach close to 300 degrees Fahrenheit before the TCO would ever engage and shut the oven down. Yeah, that can cause second or third degree burns. That's not going to feel so nice if you or a child or a pet accidentally touches it. And again, the entire point of the self-clean cycle is to burn off food debris. And while you're supposed to remove as much food debris as possible, before initiating a self-clean cycle and your oven door locks itself shut for safety, many people don't, and then that food debris catches on fire. In fact, one of the most common situations in which TCOs are tripped is when the user of the oven was running a self-clean cycle. And at least in the United States, one of the most common times for this to happen is in the weeks and days leading up to the biggest oven roasting holiday of the year. Thanksgiving. And more people needing service calls means you're going to have to wait longer for service. Which means if you try to run a self-clean cycle on your oven before Thanksgiving and it trips your oven's thermal cutoff, you may have to get takeout instead of roasting a turkey. And if you're wondering how it's even legal for a feature like this to exist, it's because manufacturers warn you about the dangers of self-clean in your oven's user manual. They warn you about the dangers in writing. And legally speaking, when you purchase an appliance, you're essentially agreeing that you're going to read all of the directions beforehand to ensure that you're using the appliance correctly. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, here's my personal favorite alternative solution, steam clean. Some ovens have a specific steam clean feature that you can consult your oven's manual to make sure you're using it correctly. But if your oven doesn't, I have a link on my website to my Bust Magazine article that has step-by-step -step instructions on how to steam clean your oven. In conclusion, please stop using self-clean, I promise it's not worth the risks. Hope that helps. Which makes perfect sense during mo- Which makes perfect sense during normal- Which makes perfect sense during normal- NORMAL OPERATION! I really hate having this line. It's so hard to talk. I'm not lift. 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 Invisalign.